Hello, Alexers. Do you hear that? Do you feel it in the air? That's the sound of inflation robbing everyone holding cash for their wealth. Only a few of us can hear it. Can you hear it too? We know you do. The government released the official numbers for inflation at 6.2%. But behind closed doors, every financial institution with a respectable analysis department already put the current inflation in the double digits. Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter and founder of Square, one of the largest payment processors on the web, warns about the info they're getting from the market and how hyperinflation is coming. Before you smirk ironically that this only happens in the US, we have to burst your bubble. Every government out there is printing money like crazy, diluting your wealth, and modern society is on the brink of financial collapse. Welcome to Alux.com the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. So in this Sunday motivational video, we'll be going through 15 assets that are currently a better investment than holding cash. Hopefully it helps you to prepare for what's coming right now and by the end of it, you'll only keep cash for essentials and reinvest everything else. Let's do this. Number one, real estate. Yep, real estate prices are going through the roof right now. Why? People realize what printing money out of thin air does to the economy, so they look for investments considered strong stores of value. Real estate is by far the best store of value we've had until now. Here's something most people don't realize. The value of your home doesn't actually go up. It's not like overnight it grew a bathroom. It's the purchasing power of the currency that's going down. So you need more cash to buy the same thing. Zillow, the largest the largest real estate marketplace in the US saw the price of the average home in the country double in the last five years, and the rhythm of price increase is only picking up. The average price increased by 18% in the last 12 months, and their data indicates a future increase of 13% moving forward. And if you take into account the increase in raw material prices, we expect the price for new apartments to be considerably higher than they are now. At this rate, saving up to buy a house is one of the most expensive things you can do. Number 2. Stocks Have you noticed how the stock market is at an all-time high? So the government prints money, right? It deploys it into the economy, people buy products and services, and that money ends up in the hands of the top 20% of the population. The same way the stimulus check doubled Jeff Bezos' wealth, y'all spend it buying stuff from Amazon. Because the rich understand the dilution of capital, they don't care about saving money under the mattress. They purchase stocks or preferably index funds like the S&P 500. All this new capital flooded the stock market, shooting everything to the moon. Every dollar put in the S&P 500 doubled in value over the last 16 months. Over 50% of the US population has no investable assets. Meanwhile, the wealthiest 10% of Americans now own almost 90% of all US stocks. You see, this is why the rich keep getting richer. While the poor keep holding on to cash for dear life, the rich park it in vehicles that appreciate in value over time. Number 3. Land Here's the deal. If there's only one truly scarce resource, it's the land on planet Earth. We know exactly how much livable land there is. Even if we were to build artificial islands like they did in the Maldives or Dubai, that would be hella expensive. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, prices for agricultural land have gone up by 7% over the last 12 months, and they've been going up since 2007. Land is in high demand right now because our entire world has changed. Here's why. Historically, we've been tied up to the workplace. First, the farm, then the factory, then the office. For the first time in human history, the chain has been broken. People now realize they can work from absolutely anywhere. Why spend 100 times the amount of money to buy land in the suburbs when you can go 30 minutes out and get yourself a deal? With all the off-the-grid tech innovation happening in the market, you're literally free to live, work, and move wherever you want. Land is probably one of the best investments for the next 50 years. Number 4. Swiss francs or other superior currencies 
It's shocking to us how uncomfortable the US population is when it comes to using different currency. Through a ton of marketing efforts, for some reason they're all convinced the US dollar is the number one currency in strength and value. Unfortunately, that hasn't been the case for decades, but the illusion still lives on. Not only are there plenty of other stronger currencies out there, the US dollar has been one of the most diluted, distributed, and neglected currencies of all. The US has been printing and shipping containers filled with US US dollars to the Middle East while maintaining a strategic position there. Whenever they needed to buy some political force over, they simply printed additional money and flew it over in cargo planes. When your government is corrupting other governments with cash, maybe it's time to look at other currencies. Your best three options are 1. The Swiss franc. They have unpegged their currency from every other currency out there and simply backed it by real assets like gold, land, real estate, raw materials, and more. 2. The Euro and 3. The British Pound Out of those three, only the Swiss franc has made it a priority to tackle inflation by not printing more money. While the US, Asia, and most of Europe are dealing with double-digit inflation, Switzerland has managed to keep it under 1%. Never bet against the Swiss when it comes to money. Number 5. Bitcoin Bitcoin is the godfather of all hedges against inflation, and also by far the best performing asset of the past decade. For the last 10 years, the US dollar has lost 99.9% .9 of its value against Bitcoin. This is the purchasing power of the US dollar against Bitcoin for the past 5 years alone. We're strong believers in digital currency, so here's what we think is going to happen in the near future. It won't be long until the US will completely move from fiat to a digital dollar and other countries will follow suit. The top 10 biggest economies in the world will each issue their own digital currencies. Bitcoin is digital gold and will exist alongside these digital currencies as a true store of value. If you think your government is diluting your wealth, you'll simply switch your holdings from the digital currency to Bitcoin in your wallet and hold on to it that way. This is going to be a much more transparent and effective way to manage your funds in the future. Even better, every billion dollar institution out there knows this already and are patiently waiting for a spot Bitcoin ETF to be approved by the US. It's been in the works for the past few years and we're expecting it to be approved in the next 12 months. When this happens, every major business in the United States will convert a portion of their balance sheet to Bitcoin just to make sure they have a diversified portfolio. And since Bitcoin has a limited supply, there will never be more than 21 million Bitcoin in circulation. Laws of supply and demand will come into play. A lot of demand for a limited supply will shoot the prices up. That's why high-profile hedge funds like ARK Investments see Bitcoin valued at over $500,000 per coin. Bitcoin is the ultimate store of value and wealth protection. That's why last year when the price was at $8,000, we released Bitcoin Essentials available for enrollment at alux.com slash Bitcoin. It's the fastest way to understand, learn, and buy your first Bitcoin. It's the most effective way to get started for someone who's never taken the time to learn about the industry and wants to begin. In just a few hours, you'll be all set up with true Bitcoin on your hardware wallet. You haven't missed the train with Bitcoin, but they're announcing a last call right now. If you haven't taken the leap yet, go to alux.com slash Bitcoin and use the promo code ALUX or at checkout for 25% off. Number 6. Altcoins Altcoins at this point is everything that's serious in the crypto world. In this new blockchain world, we're seeing new companies emerge offering a plethora of services to the market. The same thing happened when the internet started going mainstream. Altcoins are the Googles, the Amazons, the Facebooks, the Yahoo and more of this new technology. You're getting the opportunity to invest in these companies at an early stage, something you weren't able to do when Google was being founded, for example. A few weeks ago, we released our personal portfolio here on our channel. You can check out the video by clicking in the top right corner. Our top picks, aside from Bitcoin, are Ethereum, Cardano, Chainlink, Treller, Polkadot, and everything Sam Bankman is invested in, FTT, Solana, and more. Bitcoin serves the role of store of value. These projects are part of the infrastructure of the new internet. 
This is why we're considering evolving Bitcoin essentials into blockchain mastery or even into something that covers the entire industry called Crypto Complete that's being consistently updated. The financial world as we know it right now will become a mere subset of the crypto industry. By the way, of course, this isn't financial advice. We're just sharing what we're investing in. Number 7. NFTs you know how they say, be where the puck is going, not where the puck is? Well, NFTs are more than digital art. NFTs are digital ownership. You can finally prove you own something on the internet without having to sue someone. Y'all don't understand how big a deal NFTs are. Yes, buying a bored ape or crypto punk early on would have resulted in massive financial gains, but the applications will extend beyond art. Ten years from now, instead of getting paper documents when buying a piece of land, you'll buy the NFT for that land because unlike paper, it can't be destroyed in a fire or ripped off by the Taliban. You'll be able to fractionally invest in properties anywhere around the world and get paid your share of the rent they generate. We've been invited to Dubai to invest in the largest tokenized real estate project to date. This is happening right now, Aluxers. Every piece of content used commercially will provide you with 100% transparent royalties for generations. Basically, NFTs will do to property rights what YouTube did to video, but this time the control lies with you. Number 8. Gold, Silver, and Platinum we're gonna be honest with you, we're not big fans of metals. We understand the appeal of gold and silver as stores of value, but it's not for us. But that doesn't mean that in the context we're in right now that holding cash is a better alternative. With cash reserves being such an inflationary asset constantly diluted, almost anything of limited supply is a better investment. Want to see something crazy? With blue, you have the purchasing power of the US dollar, and with gold, you have, well, Gold. Gold is up 50% in the last five years alone, and it's roughly the same with every other precious metal. If you completely distrust technology or anything else that's more complex from a financial perspective, you could always walk into any bank and buy yourself gold bars. Personally, we think everything else mentioned in this video so far is a better bet, but you do you. Number 9. Livestock well, would you look at that? Owning pigs, cows, sheep, and chickens is a better investment than the US dollar. Yup, it's even better than gold. This is especially true in developing countries where the demand for livestock is much higher than that of gold or cash, because no matter how much you try, you can't milk a dollar bill or a gold coin. You might think we're kidding, but even the demand and price for compost is outperforming the US dollar by a lot. With everything happening in micro farming right now and the rise of demand for premium cattle such as Black Angus, livestock might just be your way to wealth. Number 10. Art be honest, do you really understand why rich people pay ridiculous sums of money for paintings you think your child could make? Or maybe you're into exotic black canvases by Rothko. Well, the rich use these as stores of value. The price of art never goes down. You buy it for $1 million, the purchasing power of the dollar goes down by 50%, so you'll only sell it if the price is above $2 million. Art has remained the least regulated corner of wealth management because the rich protect it with their capital. Statistically speaking, you're better off investing in art than the S&P 500. Maybe you don't have millions of dollars to buy yourself one of these incredibly expensive paintings, but now there are solutions available. Platforms like Masterworks.io allow regular people to invest in big art through fractional ownership. Basically, thousands of people come in and buy a curated piece of art to share the proceeds of the sale a few years into the future. And this is the future of art investing. By the way, Masterworks has reached out to us to sponsor our channel, but this isn't a paid post or endorsement. We genuinely like what they're doing and how innovation is happening across different industries. Number 11. Luxury Watches most people buy products for their utility, but rich people understand something the rest of the population doesn't. There's a threshold where a certain category of products goes up in value over time. This is due to craftsmanship, due to heritage, and due to the scarcity of the product. That means how many are out there in the world. Because of the intrinsic value of the watch, the monetary value keeps up with inflation and the price will go up in time. Let's take a Rolex, for example, from 1957 to 2014. 
That's the fastest data we could find. Luxury watches hold a value over time. The top three best luxury watches for investments right now are one, Rolex Submariner, two, Patek Philippe Nautilus, or three, Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. Number 12, luxury handbags. Your lady was right to ask for a Birkin or a Kelly bag. It's not just because of the flex power, they're genuine long-term investments. Yep, luxury handbags go up in value over time, but they're not all created equally. The connoisseur ladies treat their bag collection the same way you treat your stock portfolio. Pick the right ones and hold on for dear life. So here's the holy trinity of luxury bags. The price for the premium Birkin bags has increased 14% year over year for the past 35 years. Take that, S&P 500. Some of these bags go for $250,000 to half a million dollars. If you can't afford to spend 10 to 30 k for the cheaper ones, the Chanel Classic Flip Bag or the Louis Vuitton Neverfull are more affordable options that still hold value. Number 13. Vintage Cars we love the Tesla Model X and what it represents for the industry, but one thing we hate from an investment perspective is luxury tech. Nobody cares if you have a gold-plated iPhone 7, it simply doesn't age well. From wine to special edition cars, these either go up in value or at least depreciate a lot slower. This is why the G-Wagon costs so damn much, while your Toyota will be worth 50% less two years from now. The G-Wagon on average depreciates only 5% per year, while the price of a good edition Ferrari historically goes up 8% year over year. And if you can afford to buy an already vintage one that has some rarity in its supply, that percent will shoot up. Breaking it all down, it's no wonder the most expensive car in the world is a Ferrari 250 GTO, worth over $50 million. Number 14. Raw Materials we briefly touched on this when it came to real estate, land, and precious metals, but raw materials, especially those used in construction, are incredibly hot right now. On average, you'll pay roughly 18% more for raw materials, while production costs have remained roughly the same. You can take advantage of these changes in the market by investing in material stocks. SLVM, FCX, and AA are just three that are currently the talk of the town. Number 15. Basically anything right now. We began this video by looking for better alternatives to holding cash. Well, honestly, cash is the absolute worst asset to hold on to right now. You're better off trading all your cash for Jordans than keeping it in a savings account. When the population loses trust in its monetary system, it rushes to alternatives. Basically, ABC, anything but cash. This is why baseball cards are coming back. This is why Pokemon cards are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars right now. This is why people would rather buy land in the metal metaverse, then hold on to cash. Anything with a credible fan base can be used as a store of value. We're on the brink of a big change when it comes to money, and unfortunately, the poorest and least educated will be impacted the most. They were told to save their money and keep it hidden for rainy days, while nobody told them that when the rain starts pouring, their money will be worthless. Find a good time to exit your cash positions and buy something of value that will still be valuable years from now. So what's it gonna be? Knowing what you know now, what store of value will you use to protect your wealth? Let us know in the comments. And as for those of you sticking around until the end, here's your well-deserved bonus. We want to take this opportunity of this bonus to talk directly to you, the loyal Aluxer watching our videos until the very end. You're obviously focused on growth and making the most out of everything that's about to happen, so let us ask you the following questions. Let's say someone starts a small business and the business fails. Whose fault is it? Well, it's the fault of the CEO of the company. Let's say the company picks up steam and does really well. Whose fault is it? Well, it's the fault of the CEO of the company once again. Now, let's say you, yeah, you, end up on your deathbed and look back on your life as a failure, filled with regret and never building the life you really wanted to live. Whose fault is it? It's yours, isn't it? But what if it all works out incredibly well and you live this extraordinary life filled with everything you ever wanted? Whose fault is it then? 
Of course, yours. You see, my dear Aluxer, the reason why you don't yet have the life you want, the success you want, is because you fail to step up and act like the CEO of your life, to make the tough decisions needed to push your life toward that big goal you've set for yourself. You are the CEO of Your Life, Inc. So act like it. You took the time to watch a video about inflation on a freaking Sunday. Most of everything we said here resonated with you and you understand what's about to happen on an international level. What are you going to do as the CEO of your life here? Are you going to be a spectator or are you going to get ready? If you're getting ready to put all of this into action, write the word ready in the comments. Let's see how many of you are tired of being spectators and ready to step up as CEOs.